questionnaire questions should be quite straightforward. Often they say, why is this a poor questionnaire? If, if the question begins, do you agree, then it's a leading question. It encourages you to agree. So you say it's a leading question. Question two doesn't have a time period. So any question without a time period is a poor question. It means if some people may think it's per day, other people may think it's a m per month. Sometimes it's the option boxes that are poor. These option boxes are poor for three reasons. There's no zero box for people who never exercise. There's no more than seven box for people who exercise twice a day. And if you want to tick for five, you've got two boxes that you could tick, which is overlapping. So there's three, three poor things. No zero option, no more than option, and overlapping classes. Sometimes it says, what is a random sample? Not a questionnaire, sample, asking for people's opinions. Who do you give the questionnaires to? Well, a random sample, one way of doing it, or well, the definition is everybody has an equal chance of being chosen. If they don't have an equal chance, then it's not random. Try not to use the word bias. Everybody has an equal chance of being chosen. Best way to take it is a tombola. Put everybody's name in a tombola, spin it round, and pick the sample of names you want out. Sometimes it says, someone is doing a survey, what could they do to get a more representative survey? Well, they need to ask people of different ages and different genders, male and female, rather than just one type of people. Secondly, they need to ask in different locations, preferably a high street, and at different times of day. Otherwise, you would just get the opinions of people who are late, or this type of person or that type of person. So any two from these four reasons would probably be good enough.